Hormones, liver, C60, magical, magical compound. I don't even know what to call it. It was first uh, used in nanotechnology, now is used in medicine. But I tell you all about its magic, what it can do to your body, how it can help your liver, your hormones, your insulin resistance, your immunity, and um, how I created a pretty awesome way like combined two different practices and created a really awesome one minute liver detox liver training liver health practice you can do in the morning to train your liver to do its job just right your liver and gallbladder and especially if your gallbladder was removed because you know if your gallbladder was removed the cause for the problem is still there thick unhealthy bile so what do we need to do make the bile healthy and luscious and flowy and good quality so i'm gonna talk and i'll try to make it pretty short and um at the end if you want to ask me questions please do so well ask me questions right now if you have them and at the end i'm gonna look at them and answer so we're going to start and i'm not gonna make it super long and tell you about the liver and how like all of the benefits the liver health um, in our body and you should know if you watch any of my videos you should know by now that liver is essential for your health and it's like our bodyguard nothing works if in your body if your liver doesn't work it's like imagine a nightclub and there is a guy at the front door who can look at your driver license and tell you you can go in or you can't go in so if we don't have this bodyguard or whatever club guard in front of the door anything can come in and soon this club become a disaster so the same with your body uh, so liver has more than 500 functions we're not going to talk about all of them but why is liver and gallbladder is so essential for hormones is because the bile the bile help us to absorb fats so if we have very thick non-functional sticky bile we can't digest absorb fats from our diet so all of the pretty yummy beautiful avocados you know olives um coconut oils and all of these healthy fats they're telling you to eat and if you don't have good quality bile you can't absorb this fat and also fat soluble vitamins like a uh, e k d all of these very important vitamins important for your health for your beauty and for your hormones bile absorbs the fats cholesterol we need that cholesterol to make pregnenolone and pregnenolone is a hormone and it's like grandmother of all of your sex hormones then from pregnenolone we can make other hormones including estrogen progesterone testosterone so for us have good quality hormones we need cholesterol we need fats and we need bile so that's why everybody from every corner tell you to eat fat but they forget to tell you if your liver and gallbladder are suffering this fat is going to make a lot of problems in your body you can't absorb it and it's sitting in there and clogging and it's it, it's it's pretty disastrous and important important to remember healthy liver healthy gallbladder then we can absorb those fats um, also liver filters dirty estrogens the estrogen don't want to be too technical but they can go three different path pathways 2 hydroxy 16 hydroxy 5 hydroxy if they go 2 hydroxy everything good we have good estrogens and we feel good and the estrogen doing the right job but it's if it's going to 16 and <clears throat> four they're called dirty estrogens and what they do they damage your dna they make you really old really fast um everything grows like tumors thyroid nodules um polyps endometriosis everything um everything start growing and also it's very they're very damaging to to your dna and so what we need to do with healthy liver gallbladder they filter out these dirty estrogens and um, leave you with good estrogens so essential essential and you know if you have too much dirty estrogens in your body they completely like two keys for one door your cell they completely blocking your thyroid hormone getting inside of the cell so even sometimes you go to the uh, doctor 
and you check your thyroid and they're telling you it's fine but you have all the symptoms hair falling you can't lose weight you feel cold your cold hands and feet you're constipated uh, your skin is like aging really fast those thyroid issues and of course uh, it's because those estrogen preventing your thyroid from getting inside of the cell so i really want you to remember so everything is as important as it gets inside of your cell all of your organs all of your tissues you are trillions of these cells and nothing matters until this cell function until your hormones getting inside of the cell and that's why i do a different test not just blood tests because it doesn't matter what circulates in your blood it doesn't mean that it gets to the places that it needs to go including hormones including your minerals <clears throat> okay so next one liver activates thyroid hormones not only we need to get rid of estrogen dirty estrogens for your um for your thyroid hormone to get where it needs to go but it also have a long way from your thyroid to your cell and it's it's like red riding hood right what was her name she she needs to like leave mom and get to grandma but between that there are woods and wolves and all of this stuff the same with the hormone a thyroid hormone it needs to be activated needs to be binded to the protein it needs to be carried it needs to be dropped at the right place at the right time so the liver helps you to activate and convert inactive hormones to an active form mm, and also very important very important especially for those of my dear beautiful ladies who suffer from stubborn stubborn weight where you like trying everything and you still don't see the results and you honestly can say i'm not just sitting there eating pizza and drinking cola all day i'm 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 eating healthy i'm trying so hard but the weight is still there liver filters out this and forth for you chemicals um any type of chemicals from the environment from your food um a lot of bacteria a lot of the waste of bacteria parasites everything if you have some your liver have to filter it out it's like again that guy in front of the club if you tell all the chemicals the substances whatever and we have ton ton and loads of stuff nowadays getting in our body so it has to check the dry license and say hey you toxins you're dangerous you're not good we're not taking you in we have to filter you out and eliminate you so liver does it for all of your other organs so it's like your bodyguard it's like your best friend and when the liver is tired and not doing its job right all of these toxins they get to your bloodstream to your uh, tissues to your lymph and through that it gets to your brain to your ovaries to your thyroid to your what else to your uh, pancreas really really important you can't have that insulin coming from that right that stubborn weight um because if liver is really busy doing this really toxic all of this stuff gets spilled to pancreas and pancreas becoming very sluggish here is insulin resistance here is no digestive enzyme to digest your food your body is actually starving on inside they tell you go eat less and exercise and this is bs because your body is actually giving your brain signals that it's starving on inside what we need we need to digest the food again that pancreas needs to work and another thing remember that the liver is filtering everything out and it's checking the thing if it is um doesn't belong in the body and it's coming and coming and coming again and the liver is sluggish it starts storing it as fat tissue every time your liver cannot get rid of a toxic substance that coming like in alarming amounts in our body and it doesn't know what else to do with it it can disarm it anymore it's gonna put it in a fat tissue in a fat cell so now you're gonna start having the fat around your liver around your abdominal organs around your belly that visceral fat you can even be <clears throat> pretty slim but you're like oh i have this fat around my belly again stubborn weight it's your liver doesn't know because it's so exhausted it doesn't know what to do how to process coming and coming and coming toxins they just recirculate in your body so we need to eliminate them so i always say your liver 
starts with your healthy elimination. Bowels, when you go to the bathroom, pooping one time a day, this is constipation. That means your liver already is struggling. That means your bile, your lymph are going to be pretty dirty, pretty thick. And, and there is a problem. And you can't just resolve it with just eating. Well, you can, but we have so much stress nowadays that um, ladies coming to me saying, I'm eating healthy. What else can I do? Well, you can do a lot. You're starting with your liver and gallbladder. You can definitely schedule a call with me. You can find somebody who know what they're talking about in terms of the liver, gallbladder, because very stubborn cases of SIBO, of IBS, of like chronic belching and bloating can be resolved with taking care of liver and gallbladder. And that's why a lot of times you're doing, you kill this bacteria in your digestive tract. You think you use antibiotics or you use um, herbal antibiotics and you're like, okay, and the symptoms clear up and they're coming back again. It's because motility, it's your gut becoming very, very lazy. And also because you don't have good bile. Good bile is like cleansing crew. Every time you eat and when you empty your small intestine, the bile, bile comes in and it cleans and shines and removes all of the bacteria, all the fungus, all the yeast, all the yucky stuff, stuff that didn't get moved yet. It cleans it all out. So imagine if, um, you know, in the restaurant, they just feed people and never clean. That's what happened to us. And then we're like, oh, why, why can I get rid of the bloating or SIBO and stuff like that? So again, of course, very, very important to make that things move in your small intestine. A lot of people think that they can just take laxative and that's going to solve the constipation problem. No, you can do whatever you can. And it's good to take care of, even with laxative. Okay. If you don't know other ways, if you don't work with me or somebody who can teach you, show you don't like the word teach how to start moving your bowel at least do laxative but just doing laxative and making the poop more liquid it doesn't improve the movement in 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 the small large intestine so it's still going very slow so you're going to be struggling with constipation forever you're going to have SIBO that's coming back coming back coming back you're going to have IBS and weight issues and all that stuff so um elimination train that god how to work again is essential i have in my facebook group 10 days hormone gut reset you can start with that you can ask me questions but the motility it's called motility that god becoming a lazy dude it's like your muscles when they get very weak if you don't go to the gym the same thing what can we do right i already talked too much and i just uh, want to give you a couple of things you can start doing right now so bitter tinctures like digestive bitters right before you eat your food something bitter liver loves bitter and i'm gonna get to get to carbon 60 in a second no worries digestive bitters absolutely when i travel i take um bitter x this is uh digestive bitters but they're in lapazomal form you just spray like squish pump them in your mouth and they're pretty convenient and at home i use this glass one with tincture liquid this one is uh, quicksilver scientific and this one is urban moonshine and i have thousands of different stuff but right now i'm just gonna show you some some of the things so arugula something bitter bitter and sour um anything that tastes bitter and sour is amazing amazing for your liver and there is, of course, cruciferous vegetables, yes, broccoli sprouts, amazing, especially not just the supplement, but when you're chewing on them. And I have the videos when I tell you how to like super easy have your broccoli sprouts all the time. But anything bitter and with food wise, you don't want too much grilled, fried or anything like this. Give your liver a break. And a lot of times I even, I don't tell my clients necessarily get on a vegetarian or vegan diet no but when we work on liver i would recommend to stay away from meat for a little while just a little while because you don't want that undigested protein in your blood and that's what i see all the time when you do the blood sample you can see the actual food in your blood and that's why immune system is so alarmed and it's like ah invaders all the time and now we have our immunity we have problems we have hormone imbalances because 
body is fighting a war because for your body, these undigested proteins and byproducts of the bacteria in your blood, it's a full blown war. So that's a no, no. We of course have to heal and seal your gut lining for your liver, but this is what you can start with. Chewing your food really well, um, eating maybe 80%. Don't eat too much giving your liver a break then binders absolutely use binders especially ladies with any type of estrogen problems any type you got to use binders to help your liver to remove remember those dirty estrogens you can and i love to combine binders with psyllium husk because it's like like a broom it works like a broom in your body and psyllium husk usually is water soluble fiber fiber is usually good not to not to make you more bloating and more problems like grains fibers are so charcoal pectosol c psyllium husk all kind of like binders, humic acid. There are a ton, ton of binders. If you work with somebody, ask them about it. If you want to work with me, schedule a call. If you just want to ask me questions about binders, ask me questions and I can give you a list of binders. Another thing is here we get to my ninja move that help you to train your liver and your gallbladder and make them start, like jumpstart them, start them making work for you. This is a technique that you do in the morning um, as soon as you wake up, before even you brush your teeth, like forget for this moment, forget the tongue scrubbing. It's okay. What you do, you start with the two, three drops of oil, avocado oil, good quality um, olive oil, any kind of oil that you can drop on your mouth. I, I would recommend having like it on your nightstand and you start with three and you swallow it. Then you go by your day, you brush your teeth, you go drink your hot water. Hot water is amazing for liver and gallbladder. You wanna make your liver move and work, open that up, uh, those pathways um, is definitely hot water. Just water, you can drink hot teas, but just hot water is pretty amazing so the oil you drop you do three drops the next day four drops the next day it's like literally one minute cure the next day four drops of oil on your tongue and you swallow it and you get to 40 then when you reach to 40 you can gradually go back to maybe like five drops and do it for a while and see see how your liver is going to rejuvenate and to really spice it up and make it amazing, what I use um, is C60 in cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. So C60 is a carbon. Carbon 60 is a molecule made up of 60 carbon atoms. The layout of items forms a molecule shape like a soccer ball. Carbon 60 was first used in nanotechnology and electronics. Recently, there is interest in using carbon in medicine and there is pretty amazing research um, in medicine <laughs> about carbon 60 and um, I gave you some of the uh, I gave you some of the uh, cool things you can read about carbon 60 but let me list them again um, it neutralizes oxidative radicals works on the like with yourself to remove oxidative stress all of your organs and healthy organs mean healthy hormones work only when everything that your cell need gets in and all the toxins get out our disease starts with stress and very dirty exhausted cells because they not produce energy no energy the body is dying so it's literally jump start your cell um, C60 works as the best antioxidant and boosts immunity. It's really, really um, have good research. And of course, like with everything, you have to ask your doctor or a practitioner or whoever you work with or come to work with me, do your own research. This is not a medical advice. It helps you remain youthful, and energetic every day. It flushes out toxins from the body, works with cholesterol, diabetes, digestive disorders, metabolic breakdown. So insulin resistance, diabetes, this is for you, really powerful. Um, you shed some calories and remain fit. It's good for your heart, brain, blood health. And 
it really helps you to detox like on the levels where your cells are detoxing and especially so i combine two things this is very very cool technique when you teach your gallbladder and your liver how to work and also it's like this power of c60 i really like um I'm using this right now, but the next one I'm gonna buy, it's called C60 Purple Power. Um, I found those and I think I like them more than this um, this company. Amazing, so start this. It's not gonna be too much, right? So what do you do? Maybe use some psyllium husk with some fibers, drink hot water, do some digestive bitters, do some, <clears throat> do some tinctures. Like um, Global Healing Center has amazing liver tincture anything bitter like you can google you can if you don't work with anyone you can google some liver loves liquid bitter stuff so just drop in your glass drink hot water and once a day in the morning it takes you 50 seconds literally i have you have a droplet like this put your um c60 in there right pour it in there like use something to pour it here and just like several drops on your tongue and then increase, increase, increase until you go to like 30, 40. And that will train because every time you put oil in your system without anything, be, be, without making is distracted, you put that oil in your system, your bile is, your liver is, whew, opens up to help you to flush that bile out. If, with these techniques, you can even flush out some of the like small gulls, um, bile stones out because it definitely works really well if you combine this with castor oil packs with some parasitic protocol and co and coffee enemas you can get rid of liver flux and you'll be amazed how many people's hormone problems start with liver flux those those parasites they go to the uh, to your bile and clog those bile ducts and that actually one of the reasons why bile um bile um ducts are clogged and why um people develop these bile stones and another thing the last one let me know if you have question another thing the last one i want to talk to you everybody's talking to you about anger right so liver is anger and you're feeling guilty all the time well my, i have liver problems i have anger problems i can tell you right now my dear forget about this freaking bullshit so we always feel guilty and the guilt and luck and anger to yourself this is the biggest problem and biggest liver prob prob problem and i want to tell you it's not even your fault and i'm going to do amazing webinar master class on how we clear the shit out from your body because a lot of these things believe it or not came from your ancestors from your grand grand grandparents grandparents and grandparents the way they were living all their fears all of their problems they accumulated and when your little baby is born to this family you start absorbing their genetics their microbiome their energy their way of thinking and you go through life and you're repeating their scenarios how many times you go through life and you're like i feel like i want to do different things and i don't know why i still act this way i feel like i'm a different person inside but I still act like a bitch, <laughs> I don't know, to my husband, for example, or to my kids. Or I feel like I can make lots of money, but I can't. It's like I spend them all or like something's stopping me. So let me tell you. And then you become angry, angry with yourself. And this is the anger. So it's not anger towards other people. It's self-anger. Okay. And this is programming. And I'm going to do amazing, amazing webinar of how to deprogram yourself from all of this bullshit. If you're interested, let me know, send me a message, but we're going to clear this all out. Like enough is enough. It was amazing for me. Like you walking through your life hypnotized and we're going to reverse all of this bullshit. No more, <laughs> no more being hypnotized by all of the failures of your family. <laughs> But you also have their powers. There are a lot of power in there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the junk that we accumulated and we're going to take all of their strength and all of their power. It's like, seriously, enough. You need to live your life and you need to be a person that who you are. Another little thing, how you get angry 
about yourself especially ladies i'm telling you stop being angry at yourself even if like you i need to heal my liver but i have this drinking problem i need to i need to lose weight but i have these like a little you know chewing problem something like sweet always getting something sweet first of all you need to fall in love with yourself and turn this shame into pride like we don't have to be perfect we came to this earth to experience different things god is not perfect and i know a lot of people are just gonna tell me what is she talking about but the thing is god is through us looking to all of these experiences and when you look at yourself in your shady stuff it's like maybe it's an alcohol problem well don't don't sneak a little drink here and there make it super pretty get a flask and you know tell yes well that's what i like to do but the more or like if you like sweets make it something really really amazing make it like a royal habit make it a treat turn it into something you're not ashamed anymore because every time you think you have a bad habit and you do it every time you just like self eating your eating yourself on inside and it's becoming more harder and harder to resist and also it makes you miserable guilty and that guilt and that luck that coming from our parents for example why do you need to clean that family history for example my grand grandparents they had money they had like houses they were pretty rich in soviet in soviet russia right but after the revolution all of this happened people um soviet government took everything from them and sent them to siberia with one suitcase and my grandmother she was like hungry like uh, went through starvation during the second uh, world war ii so in my family history it was and i was like why can't i keep the money like i know i can always make money but i'm always spending that it's just because in my family it was why even keep the money? Somebody will come and take them. So I might enjoy them right now before somebody come and take them and send me to Siberia where I'm from, right? So it's not your fault. We're going to clear all this shit out. Just um, send me a message if you want to participate. And yes, start doing all this liver stuff. And that's it for today.